LNAI has updated their OLM OCR model. So OLM OCR was an open source model or an open weights OCR model which had excellent performance. Now this particular OCR model gets an update. So this is OM OCR 2, which makes use of synthetic data plus unit tests as verifiable rewards to reach state of art performance on challenging documents. So this model turns PDFs and scans into clean text with support for tables, equations, handwriting and more. Now the good thing about this model is that it is open weights. Okay. And they have also released quantized version of this particular model, the FP8 version, FP8 quantized model, which can get 3400 output tokens per second on a single H100. This means you can process 10,000 pages for less than $2. You can also fine tune OM OCR2 on your data set. Uh, so they have a nice demo. Let's try out the demo and then let's get into some of, you know, what they have done with this particular model and how is OM OCR2 getting better results when compared to OM OCR. So this is their demo page where you can actually upload an image. So I'm going to do some comprehensive testing over here. So what I've done is that I've uploaded this particular image. If you look at this, this is a slightly complex layout newspaper image, right? And if you see over here, it is done excellent OCR over here. Okay. ED uncovers. It is particularly this topic. Okay. So it has done the OCR of this text, which is present over here. I uh, you know then it goes into the next uh, topic over here. Farmers rally, you know, for guaranteed this thing, right? A PM Modi to inaugurate rupees 12,000 crore worth development projects in Delhi. Uh, then it has actually covered, you know, wherever the quality is good, it is able to cover that see Delhi police discover donkey road. Okay. So it is able to parse this page and get nice output, right? Then you have, you know, I gave this newspaper image slightly older image. The quality is very poor over here, but it is still able to pull some of these headlines over here. Like India celebrates freedom. Consamply takes over governance, historic midnight session, memorable scenes in Madras national flag over port. So it is whatever it is being able to pull, whatever quality is that, that text it is able to pull really well over here. I wanted to try out how this model works on handwritten data. So this is a doctor's prescription. So over here, if you see, it is actually pulled out a lot of things properly, like amoxicillin 500 mg capsule 21 numbers. And then it says uh, SIG 1 cap 3x a day for 7 days right the signature de la cruz it could be j or it could be i over here but the numbers have been pulled out properly right armando coquia the name has been pulled out properly the rest of things have been pulled out properly i'm not sure of this medicine it says h u m i o x i can read it as t h m i o x it could be h i m i o x what I found out is that there is a medicine like HIMOX. So I'm not sure about that. All right. Uh, so I'm not sure about that, but otherwise it's able to detect over here. One more complex doctor's prescription over here. So here it is difficult to read for even me some of these things. Right. I can see neck mass noted two weeks ago, no pain, physical exam findings, neck. Uh, so let's see how it comes over here. Uh, if you look at this, it says neck mass noted two weeks ago, no pain. Okay. Physical exam findings, neck, thyroid, mass, right lobe. So it's done a good job here. Two centimeter moose with swallowing feels solid, firm, no tenderness, no redness. Wow. Nice. Um, then it says cancer, no cancer. Okay. Cancer, not cancer. Thyroid mass, right side, question is there. Okay, biopsy options for further diagnosis. Okay, it pulls from here. Um, then it says thyroid disorder function, hyper, no symptom, cancer, not cancer. I think it is pulling out this part. But I don't see what happens to the rest of the text over here. Okay, I'm not sure about rest of the text over here. Why it's not done this part, I'm not sure of it. 
but this is how it is doing on this image now then i tried slightly complex image where i gave this you know somebody asked asked me previously when i was testing out ocr models like what if if you give handwritten formula and whether it is able to detect so this is a handwritten document okay and here it is able to pull in things like if you look at the last one this vector a curl vector to vector and here it is you know and uh, your delta into f basically uh, it is able to do this i don't know if it is this is delta or this is something else this symbol for this thing right uh, it is able to you know do that properly over here uh, when i looked at you know i'm not gone into every character over here but at a high level when i look at it it is doing a very good job you know of this handwritten document okay cross product of two vectors so basically it is pulling out from here cross product of two vectors and it is given that part scalar product triple product area of a triangle abc um then it goes into area of a triangle is equal to 1 by 2 ab sin theta so it is pulling out this particular part area of parallelogram okay parallelogram is equal to area of triangle 1 plus triangle 2 so it is actually pulled out all these things properly over here abc um so it is able to do this recognition quite well over here so this is root 3 divided by 26 plus 29 so it is able to actually do a lot of things properly over here 3 divided by root of 26 plus 29 um mm, all the ocr has been done very well over here one more example which i tried over here was this you know this is where there are a lot of formulas in this particular image so if you look at it uh you know integration of dx is equal to x plus c 1 by x dx is equal to log of x plus c uh exponent x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c it is done fantastic job over here of recognizing the characters so this is a very strong ocr model i even rotated that image to see how it does over there also it does very well because with deep seek ocr somebody had written that if you rotate the images it doesn't work this ocr works very well with handwritten data in my limited testing here is another handwritten letter it says hope uh, this note finds you in good spirits i always hope that i would be able to teach my children the important things in life uh, that they would be good people my daughter is a personal trainer and recently she was uh, she was offering me advice about exercising dad she said as you get older there are two things you have to focus on staying flexible and keeping your sense of balance it occurred to me afterwards that my daughter was teaching me the important things in life i will try take care alan so it has done a very good job of ocr uh, you know on handwritten data handwritten math formula handwritten equations and so on okay so then this is one more handwritten example where you know you have this the motilal nehru committee has demanded a bill of rights so it has done a good job over here so with some previous ocr models like padel ocr vl i had some hallucination present over here even with deep seek ocr i had hallucination with this document none of that is present over here so it is done an excellent job with handwritten data okay so then this is an equation data so here you have an equation so that equation is also pulled out properly over here so i want to test out mathematical formula how it is pulling out so this mathematical equations it is pulling out properly over here no errors uh i tried out um, this you know case of you know you have some images and text over here here also it pulled out everything properly whatever can be ocr it pulled out everything properly one more example with you know graphs so here we have low risk factors this is a bar graph and there are some values present over here 25% 5% 2% it is actually pulled those values properly over here some models had an issue of hallucination over here for example this hp1 ac reduction somewhere it is present over here there was hallucinations this model is doing an excellent job of pulling the values out of it right so this has been one of the best ocr models which i have tested recently uh, i have tested a lot of uh, ocr models recently and my ocr libraries playlist keeps getting updated you know i i have tested out padel ocr uh, granite dockling nanonets ocr v2 10 uh, points reader padel ocr vl even deep seek ocr this model seems to be performing excellently on 
lot of data which I have tested on. So this is tabular data, pulls out all the values over here also properly. Another example was this tabular data. Let me go to that over here. Um, so this particular page, a quite clean tabular data, I would say, but it has done a very good job of extracting the table data over here without any hallucination. All the values are proper over here. Again, this was an image which I gave over here. Even here, it does a good job. So this OCR seems to be performing excellently across various kinds of data samples which I have tried out, including complex layouts and uh, this thing. I don't see much hallucination or anything over here with this particular OCR model. Now let's go into a little bit detail of, you know, how did they create this model? So what they are saying over here is that uh, this particular model is built on Quen 2.5 VL 7 billion parameters and fine tuned on OLM OCR Mix 1025, a data set of 270K PDF images with diverse properties, academic papers, historical scans, legal documents, brochures and more. They have updated their data set since their previous release to include 20,000 additional pages of difficult handwritten and typewritten documents. No doubt the performance on handwritten documents has improved. So OCR, OLM OCR2 reads complex pages in a single pass, a vision encoder processes the page image, a decoder generates structure, text markdown for headings, document structure, HTML for tables and latex for math equations. The structure is produced directly rather than stitched together by post hoc rules. So OLM OCR avoids many failure mod modes of multi-stage pipelines. Okay. So what they have done is that uh, they have training this OLM OCR2. When they trained it, they trained it directly against verifiable correctness. So they introduced evaluation as unit tests in OLM OCR bench, deterministic test verifiers that assert properties like table structure, preserved maths, faithfully transcribed. So basically, what they did was, uh, you know, uh, they created something like this: sample real-world pages with challenging content. Use Claude Force on it to analyze layout and re-render pages as clean semantic HTML pages. Refine the HTML iteratively for visual fidelity. Derive exact markdown uh, targets and automatically generate programmatic test cases from the HTML source. So they created a lot, a lot of uh, you know test cases, verifiable properties, and then they made use of GRPO uh, reinforcement learning to improve the model. So in this way, they could improve this particular model okay uh, and what they are saying is that this model has SOTA performance on OLM OCR bench data set it achieves 82.4 a nearly 4 point improvement compared to their previous model okay uh, some examples are present over here uh, if you compare the OLM OCR initial model and the new model if you see hallucinations are not present over here this was January 15th right it says January 15th in the previous model in the current model it is giving correct uh, January 10th right and as I said before this model they are also shipping a FP8 contrast model that achieves 3400 tokens per second on a single H100 GPU fast enough to process 10,000 pages for less than dollars too. So this is an excellent OCR model it is available as open source there are people who are rendering this uh, who are you know uh, deploying this model as API like deep infra and parasail so you can check out them as well. Uh, if you want to run it as an API, this model is available on Hugging Face. So you can actually download the model and try it for yourself. You can create a collab notebook or you can deploy it locally and you can try it out whether it works for your purposes. So in my uh, uh, limited testing with these different varieties of images, I see that this model definitely has given me the best performance when compared to recent models. Okay, maybe Quen 3 VL is doing a good job on these images, but this model seems to be, uh, you know, uh, there are no hallucinations as such with handwritten data. Uh, it is doing layout analysis properly. So this is definitely a very good OCR model. So you can also go and try this demo. They have this demo. You can try out this demo page where you can upload your images and try to see if it works for you or not. Okay. So this is a short video on OLM OCR2, an interesting new release from Allen AI, an updated version of their OLM OCR model. This is open weights. You can use it for commercial purposes. It comes with an Apache 2.0 license. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.